الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلم عليه. My respected brothers and sisters in Islam. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran, ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها. That within his mercy, within his signs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he created from you, you the man, your wife. So that you will find peace and comfort with her. And it's Allah who made between you and your wife love and mercy. So it is not only love, that you love her because of her looks. But rather Allah joined love with mercy. That you love her because of who? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Marriage is within the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth. And it being the practice of all the messengers of Allah and prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah's blessings and mercy be unto them. But the question here is that who do we marry? In the sense of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says we marry for four reasons. Any one of us who is married or who is going to marry, married for these one of these four, or some of them, or may marry for one of these reasons. The first, you either marry her because of her lineage. So the importance of what she can do in order to help you in your work. I belong to this person. My wife belongs to this family. My wife belongs to this generation. My love, my love or my wife belongs to this very special family. Or you marry her because she is rich. If she's not rich, she is going to help you to be rich. You help her or she will help you in order to become rich or to be able to manage your affairs in this world. Or you marry her because she is beautiful. Or you marry her because she is a Muslim and she has good character. So within the four, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, made a choice for us and said, marry her for her religion if only you want to find peace and comfort. Marry her for her religion, and their religion is not only because she is a Muslim, but because she has good character. Character is very, very important. If she prays and fasts and does everything but does not respect you, then where is the love? Where is the marriage? You tend to be the wife and she becomes the husband. So love has to go with mercy, just as you marry her, her dean has to go with her character. She has to have a good character. But if don't, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may not help your marriage. What we have to understand is that before you get in marriage, know that you are going to build a foundation for your children. You are building a foundation for your children and the first of all foundations is to lay for them the basis of everything. The foundation is the mother, is your wife, the woman who is going to be the one who takes care of the house. If you have a good wife, then you have a good house. If you have a bad wife, then you have a bad house. Because she is the first to train your children, to teach your children, to lay a foundation for your children, so that tomorrow you will not be answerable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But remember, my brothers and sisters in Islam, as Allah says in the Quran, Ya ladina amanu, speaking to those who believe, Ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. You should protect yourselves and your family from the hellfire. Then Allah described the hellfire. That is not referring to the fire of this world. This is fire, the fire we use in this world. We use wood to light them and after that we extinguish the fire. But these the fire on the day of judgment, there are stones that you can never extinguish. And the body of the human being, those that are going to go to hell, 
Fire Allah made for a fire to light for a period of 3,000 years, waiting for anyone who died disbelieving in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah prevent us from her fire. So Allah has given you the man the responsibility. First, you save yourself and then save your family. Some of us may say that, okay, I'm already married to a woman who is a Christian. You are not destroyed. Even the one who is married to a Muslim is not safe. Because you have to continue until you leave the world while your wife is saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So it is not easy if even your wife is still a Muslim. Then you whose wife is not a Muslim, huh? you have to make jihad. And the jihad is that you try with her. Teach her. Present good manners. Good character, good behavior. Let her have good friends. Some friends that are Muslims also, that they can at least, within time, to direct her and to help her to become a Muslim. There are so many brothers, my respected brothers in this Islam, they married Christians. Or even they married women who, are, who were not even believing in anything. But today, such women are some of the leaders of our Muslim sisters. And I'm not saying only in order to encourage them, but I'm saying this because it did happen. Sometimes they marry them when they are not Muslims, but when they try with them because they have good intentions with these women, Allah will guide the women and the women will become Muslims and after that, they will become more better than the husband. And if you remind the husband about Islam, teach the husband about Islam because they learn. They learn just as we do not learn. Because when they come into the religion, they don't come into the religion as if they were born into the religion as we are. Because we think that we are Muslims and it's over. We don't have to read, we don't have to learn and so on. We don't have to learn anything about Allah or about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because our names are Muhammad. But when they come into Islam, they ask themselves, what are we confronting now? What is this religion? Who is Allah? Who is Muhammad? Who is who this? And who is that? And why do we pray? And why do we have to fight? They ask these questions and they try to find answers to them. Answers that you don't have. So they become better than you. 